Hey everyone, welcome to a beautiful day here in Ho Chi Minh City. I'm not solo today, I'm with... Hi, welcome to Vietnam. Yeah, I'm with my Vietnamese friend over here. How do you say welcome to Vietnam in Vietnamese? Uh, chào mừng đến Việt Nam. Exactly, chào mừng đến Vietnam. And uh, today we're walking in this beautiful park over here, which is right next to the largest building here in Vietnam. It's not these, it's that one right over here. So I'm just gonna be walking around a bit. My friend's gonna leave me, unfortunately. But uh, I'll just walk around this park, get an idea of how like a nice area looks like in Ho Chi Minh City. Wouldn't you say this is like one of the best areas in Ho Chi Minh City? Yeah, so I was impressed, like this area is brand new and nice. So we're gonna walk around a little bit of the park and then we're going to go inside of this large building and they have a mall inside and yeah, so let's check it out. So here is more of the park. A lot of kites up in the air. And surprisingly right now it's not raining because it has been raining like every day since I came here. And today we're lucky it didn't rain. Like we're, well, this yeah. is the rainy season, right? Yes. Yeah. In Vietnam we only have two seasons, sunny and rainy. Yeah, sunny and rainy and, and I just happened to come during the rainy season. But check it out how crowded it is over here, wow. So before we go up on this little observation deck over here, I just want to show you guys that this boat over here is a restaurant. So you can go and eat some food and enjoy this beautiful Ho Chi Minh City waterfront. So we are on the observation deck right now. Loving the views. And just to let you know, this whole area is called Landmark and this building over here is called Landmark 81. Look at all the people having fun. It's amazing. And there's a sunset just right behind the building. Fortunately, we cannot see it. We can see a little bit of the clouds there. Nice. This is how the observation deck looks like. Yeah, this place is beautiful. Here's uh, some ships over there. They have uh, containers, container ship. And then over there, if you can see on that side of the riverfront, it looks like there's a bunch of villas as well. Oh, these steps are so twisty. Looks like they have another little observation deck over there too. Hello. Okay, now we're going towards the Landmark 81 building. But I just wanna show you real quick the local uh, atmosphere, how it is in Ho Chi Minh City currently. There are a lot of kites over there. Adults are playing with it too. It's funny because in America, we would only uh, play with kites when we were little. I rarely, or I never saw adults playing with, with kites. Come on, where are you going? Catch up. So do you play with kites or no? I never tried before. Oh, I never tried before. When I was little, I used to play with it, but uh, now I'm older, I never play with kites. What about you? Let me know. Oh, this guy is about to send up the kite. Oh, I didn't notice that they have a little like uh, water fountains over there. I didn't see that when we were coming in. Did you? No, yeah. You know how many floors this building has? You know how many floors? 81. Oh, that's why it's called Landmark 81. I guess it's 81. It makes sense. Surprisingly, in this area, they have a pedestrian bridge. This is something that you don't really see in Ho Chi Minh City. Well, before we get into this massive building, I just want to show you around the area, just so you have a better feel of the area. So over here, they made like two little pyramids. I'm not really sure what's up with that. But this cool little courtyard over here has a lot of high rises. So if you do come to Ho Chi Minh City, I highly recommend staying in this area. 
Unfortunately, I'm not staying in this area, but I would have loved to because this is a really nice developed area. I'm emphasizing on like really nice because uh, Ho Chi Minh City, the whole city, I've yet to see something like this. So I have to say like this is the best area I've seen thus far. And if you guys know any other like better areas, please let me know. Well, as I was recording the previous shot, my friend happened to get some milk tea for us at this place over here. It's called Koiva. This is a menu over here, you guys can see. And we just, I just got the basic milk tea. Okay, let's open up the milk tea real quick. There we go. Cheers. Cheers. So this cost uh, 50,000 Vietnamese dong. I'll put the price in USD on the screen. Costs around like $2 USD. Got the standard milk tea with the bubbles. And then what did you get? Uh, caramel black tea macchiato. Caramel black tea macchiato. And you, how much was yours? It's uh, 55,000. 55,000. All right, let's try it out. Nice, tastes like normal milk tea with bubbles. It's really good. This one is not normal bubble, it's called Guangdong bubbles. Oh, Guangdong bubbles, okay. Interesting fact real quick, while I'm drinking the milk tea, I just want to tell you that milk tea came from Taiwan. So originated in Taiwan, now it's all over Asia. Let me show you guys this car real fast. Uh, this is called VinFast as a company, and it's got, I guess it's called VF E34. This is Tesla's rival. So this is uh, Vietnam's first electric car company. They want to do it worldwide. They're already advertising in America. And the company that made this car, Vin, Vin Group, I believe that's what they're called. They also made this building over here. And there goes my friend on the grab bike. All right. Let's see how one of the best malls in Vietnam looks like in its largest building. It's the front entrance. So they have a lot of name brands like over here, Uniqlo, which is famous in Asia, Calvin Klein jeans. It's, it's a massive mall. It has a cinema at the bottom that I just went to. I just watched a movie with my friend. So let's go around and investigate. See over here, it's multi-leveled. This looks like any other like mall you'd see in a nice city. Like they're having a party down there. All the steps dancing. You see that, guys? This is Highlands Coffee. It's a famous name brand here in Ho Chi City in Vietnam. Seems for its coffee. As I said in the last video. Uh, Ho Chi Minh City or even Vietnam is famous for its coffee. This is how much the coffees are. So you get one coffee for about like a dollar twenty, and then the other one, other one that's a little bit more expensive is like two dollars. Oh, here's a little gaming center. Let me show you what kind of games they have at the arcade. Excuse me. So I just uh, arrived at the ice skating rink, this is right over here. The cool thing is, is this city is very hot, it gets like 100 degrees daily Fahrenheit and they still have an ice skating rink. This is the first ice skating rink I saw in Ho Chi Minh City. Pretty nice. And then across from us, this is called Lotteria. Kind of sounds like lottery, but it's a Korean fast food name brand. Let me show you what kind of food this Lotteria place is offering. 166,000 Vietnamese dong, you get pieces of chicken, two sandwiches, and three colas. Not bad. So I just stopped in Texas Chicken, so this is how it looks like, and let's order some food. Okay, well, since I'm American, I decided to go Texas Chicken. I just got three chicken strips, coleslaw, and this honey bun, also some uh, Coke Zero. All this came to a total of 87 Vietnamese dong, 87,000. Put the price on the screen, and now let's dig in. 
Okay, let's start with the chicken strips. Even though I just took a bite, I have to do a bite for the camera because I'm starving. It's nice. It's nice, crispy, white meat. Can't go wrong with that. I'll try the coleslaw real quick. Normal standard coleslaw you get from a chicken place. Last but not least, the honey bun. I've never seen this before. Have you seen a honey bun before? It's hot. Nice. Let's try it out. It's buttery, honey. It's just like a normal biscuit you get at KFC. I demolished that. That definitely hit the spot. Also, Landmark 81 has a Skyview deck that you could go on. Uh, I, I might go there on another video, but it just connects them all as well. So you can go up there and see one of the best views in Ho Chi Minh City. So I'm currently in Uniqlo. I think that's how you pronounce it at the store. It's kind of like Gap in America. So you can get like these men's t-shirts for like 250,000 Vietnamese dong, which was like $10.50. I put the exact price in USD. So I want to give you guys a quick idea. Men's pants, or actually shorts for 500,000 Vietnamese dong, which is like 17, 18 dollars, or even more. I'll, I'll let you guys know. You have an idea, but these clothes over here are a bit expensive in Vietnam compared to like if you go to like the street markets and stuff, it, it would be a lot cheaper. But obviously the quality probably won't be the same. The Adidas store. Let's see how much our like a normal pair of Adidas shoes cost here in the mall. Okay, so currently I'm in the Adidas store, and I just want to show you these Adidas uh, superstars are going for 2.5 million. Yes. Vietnamese dong. All right. So what's like the average shoe price? Uh, the what? Like the superstars is 2.5 million. Is there like 1.5 million maybe? Um, no, we don't have. So the cheapest is like two mil. Yeah. Um, this one, this one style have 1.6. 1.6 million. One, yes. Okay. And it's one for women, just for women. Oh, okay. So not even for men. Yes. All right, cool. Let's see how much are the shirts, real quick. How much are? Let me see this one. How much is this one? One point two million. And it's for running. For running? Yes. A dry fit or? Oh uh, yes, okay. It's dry fit. Okay, one point two Vietnamese done. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, guys. So you saw some of the prices. So here in the mall is expensive. Even like, I think the Adidas shoes in uh, America get picked that up for a lot cheaper. So let's go outside and finish the video. Okay, we're back outside right now. Back at this courtyard. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Check it out. All right, guys, so I think I'm gonna finish the video over here. I don't know how the lighting is, but uh, this was Landmark 81 and you got to see the park as well. So I hope you enjoy the video. As always, please hit that like button and subscribe and I'll catch you later. Just gonna be enjoying the rest of this night. Peace, guys.